In Google Earth you can make a beautiful collection of your trail runs, of your hikes. Okay, let me show you guys how did I do this. Aloha guys, this is Nandor from Hungary Explorer and welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is a little bit different, not a typical gear guide, gear tips video. Today what I'm gonna show you guys how to import GPX files from different sources to Google Earth. In Google Earth you can make a beautiful collection of your trail runs, of your hikes and then everything can be in one spot and then you can later analyze it or you can just show off to your friends whatever trail did you do. Today I will show you how to do it from different sources. One is gonna be Gaia GPS, second um, Garmin Connect and Strava too. I will just gonna show you guys the basic but I hope it will help. First let me show you how you guys download Google Earth and you have this beautiful website. Now they have a Earth online but I still like to use my my offline version. So up here on the left top corner you see Earth versions and then you have different ways web mobile or pro on desktop you click on desktop download pro on desktop accept and download from here it's pretty easy you basically just set it up install it and you're good to go after you install google earth you are ready to launch it and look at this beauty this one is all my tracks, what I did in Oahu. So as you see, there are a lot of tracks and you can zoom in more. Okay, let me show you guys how did I do this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys three ways where, how you can download the GPX file, turn into KML and load it into Google Earth. First, if you have a Gaia GPS account, which is free, you can just very easily go to your profile, go on your tracks and uh, let's just click on one track here which is Ilya Hilu it shows you the track where is it and you want to put this in Google Earth you just go on data and download as KML file click on download save file or you can open right away with Google Earth so we can just do open with Google Earth Okay, and we are already in Google Earth, right here, look at that, we already have the whole loop and then you can see how you go on the ridge, down in the valley, it's just very cool. So your new KML file, actually it's gonna go right away in by default in temporary places right here as you can see on the left corner. And then you have this file called My Places. You can just add a folder and say, I don't know, Oahu Trails. Say OK. And then you have a new folder. So what you can do, you can just pick up the Iliahi loop file and move it to Oahu Trails. So now when you get out of Google Earth, it's not gonna disappear because it was in a temporary file it's gonna show you at Wahoo Trails right here let's add another file to our account here okay so the uh, another interface we're gonna use to import tracks to Google Earth is through Garmin Connect a lot of people have Garmin watches they record their activities and uh, Garmin Connect there is an activities window here or you just go on the side and choose activities all activities okay let's choose a hike Julio to Mount Olympus you click on it okay you get all the data everything but now what you want to download it as a KML file so you go on the right corner more export to Google Earth okay you say open file okay so this as you guys can see looks very different than the other ones because Garmin Connect shows all the tracks, all the laps, what we don't really care about. So what we're gonna do, we go on the temporary places, click on this and it says track points. If you unclick it, they disappear. So we don't need that delete. 
boom. Next, labs. We don't care about labs. Delete. Boom. Okay. Looks much cleaner, much better. We have another GPX file. What we have to do now, moving from temporary places to up there to Ahu Trails. Now let's go to the third way to download to introduce a GPX file in Google Earth and that will be through Strava. Okay, so Strava is used by mostly runners and bikers, but lately there are a lot of hikers are on Strava too. It's a pretty cool interface. I really like it. Unfortunately, Strava makes you to pay for your training log to access your training log. So the free version still have you still have access for some of your latest activities like this one. Okay, and it shows up here what I need to click on these three points actions export gpx file so i save the file this time so because strava not able to export as a kml file i have to use an online gpx to kml converter which is pretty simple you just type in gpx to kml.com and it's a very simple surface you can do gpx to kml or kml to gpx convert file gpx Waypoint tracks routes, that's fine. And you just say convert. Okay, file will download your file here. Click open with Google Earth Pro. Go back to Google Earth. Perfect. So now we have one introduced by Garmin, introduced by Strava, and one introduced by Gaia GPS. Okay, let me show you guys what can you do with these files. As you see, they all have this was introduced in red, the other one in green. So, what we can do, you click on the file, it says Coolio to Mount Olympus track. You right, right click on it and say get information. When you do get information, you can just change the name. Maybe you want to do Polau crossover. Okay. You can put the description, I don't really do that. But then what I do, the style and color, the width of these lines, you can put, I put usually two. And you can change the color on it. You can change it to green. It will look like this. Maybe you wanna add some waypoints on your map. You just press this uh, add place mark option. And let's see. Maybe you want to see, oh, okay, this is cow crater. So you want to place mark in the crater. So you can just put cow crater. And then you click on this little icon and you can change it anytime. So this is your preference, whatever you want to put. You have all these little things. If you think that cow crater is good for camping, then you can just put a camping spot but because that's not true and I wouldn't camp in there maybe we're just gonna put like a regular yellow mark okay now you can change the color and you can change the scale of the icon as you see I have my own ways to put different uh, place marks I use this little hiker icon for the trailheads I use the waters watermark for waterfalls. I I use for peaks. I use like a separate uh, green star. You know, everybody will figure out a way to do its own. Uh, what I forgot to mention: if you want to save your uh, progress, you can just click on my places, right click, and you say save places as, and you save it as a KML file. Let's call my places. Put save. When you get out, you have your KML file. Okay, so this was it. I hope you learned something new. I hope uh, it, this video contains some good, valuable information. If you have any questions, feel free to just put them in the comment section and I will answer as soon as I can. See you guys around. Aloha.